so today I'm here with Draco. He may not be in the shot the whole time, but we are going to be filming a bonding video for you guys. I'm really excited about getting back into hedgehog videos. Um, I actually have some super worms and kibble here for him um, to keep him distracted so that he's not running around in my hands the whole time because uh, as you can see, he's ready to go, go, go. So we'll put him here so that he can hang out while I uh, get down to the nitty gritty of bonding with your hedgehogs. So one of the most popular tips for bonding that you will probably hear when you first become a hedgehog owner is to put something that smells like you in the cage, whether that be a pajama t-shirt or um, a piece of fleece that you tucked in the pillowcase and slept with for a couple days. You want something that has your scent on it and you want to put it in bed with them. That way they're getting used to their, your scent while they're getting used to their new home. Another tip is to constantly be handling them, such as picking them up, passing them from hand to hand, letting them sit in your hand, sniff you, get used to continually being in your hands and around you, practicing flipping them, um, not over and over again obviously, but just, just getting them used to being handled by humans in hands continually. As you can hear, Draco's huffy, but he is not completely balled up. He's doing well. He's used to this. He's used to being out of the cage. Um, he's used to being around me, things like that. And that's from me holding him like this all the time. Um, you just want to make sure that they know who you are and um, that they're used to being sort of passed from hand to hand and things like that. Another great way to bond with your hedgehog is actually hands-off bonding, more of snuggling and cuddling. You can have them in a blanket or in a snuggle sack or a cuddle cup, which is what I have Draco in down here. You can't really see, he's eating now. Um, but you can have them in one of those things on your lap or just on you on your lap, um, whatever works best for you. Um, <laughs> Honey, he's trying very hard to get underneath his cuddle cup. Um, but anyway, yes, anything that sort of um, makes them feel more comfortable. This can be especially helpful with more skittish hedgehogs. Um, for those of you that know uh, my story with Blaze, you'll know that he wasn't really keen on being handled in my hands. He wasn't fond of being picked up or passed from hand to hand or manhandled or anything like that. Um, he much preferred sitting on my lap and that's actually how we finally made our breakthrough with him. Just letting him get used to me in his own time on my lap every day um, seemed to have been the best method for him. So you'll have to figure out what works best for you. Another great bonding tip is actually bonding bags. They look a bit like snuggle sacks with straps on them. These help you carry your hedgehogs around if you're busy and don't have time. Um, as you guys know, I have 10 animals here and sometimes I get overwhelmed. Sometimes things are going on. Bonding bags have been a lifesaver for me to make sure that I am still bonding with my pets even when I'm busy. I just carry them around with me. They're getting used to the movement. They're getting used to being carried. They're getting used to being out of their cages and they're getting used to being around scents that they're not entirely familiar with, which can help desensitize them. On the topic of bonding bags, if you don't want to buy a specific bag for your hedgehog, you can actually use hoodies. If you turn them backwards, you can use the hood and put your hedgehog in that. If you have one of the ones with the really big pockets in the front, you can actually use the pocket and put your hedgehog in the pocket. I will warn that you're likely to get peed on or pooped on that way. Um, hedgehogs naturally go to the bathroom when there's a lot of movement. Um, as you guys know, if you own one, they pee and poop while they run. Well, they pee and poop a lot while they're traveling as well. 
Another great tip is bring your hedgehog places. If you're going to the pet store to pick up something, bring your hedgehog with you. They're allowed to go there. Um, short journeys in the car are fine if you want to bring a, a snuggle sack or a bonding bag and bring them around. They're getting used to different environments. They're desensitizing to the world around them. My boys actually really, really enjoy being out in public, which is a shocker because sometimes they don't enjoy being out just in my home. <laughs> now that it's starting to warm up, you can also take them outside. I recently did that. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen the photos. One of the really important things about bonding with your hedgehogs is do not block your scent, which means no gloves, guys. You have to either uh, bare hand pick up your hedgehog, you will get used to their quills. It may take time, but you'll get used to them, I promise. Um, if at first you're really struggling with picking them up, if you're really struggling with the way their quills feel, which can happen, um, use just a piece of fleece something they already have in their cage to pick them up. You want to um, make sure that you're not depriving them of your smell. If you're using gloves, especially ones thick enough not to feel quills, you're blocking off your scent from them. You're making them way more afraid of your hands than they need to be. Now those are some ways that you can bond with your hedgehog. Here are some of my tips. Consistency and patience. Consistency because you have to make sure that you are staying on top of bonding. You have to make sure that you are doing it every day. Um, in the beginning, I'd especially recommend at least 30 minutes a day. You really want to make sure that your hedgehog is getting used to who you are and getting used to your smell. They have very poor eyesight. They're not going to recognize your face really. They might recognize your voice if you speak to them. Um, but you definitely... You definitely want them to sort of register that you are a safe space for them and that's when they'll start really bonding with you and really trusting you and becoming the hedgehogs that you know you want them to be. Um, so beyond consistency you really need patience. Sometimes bonding can go really fast and really well and it's smooth sailing and sometimes it can be really difficult. You'll have no real way of knowing which is which. You'll have no real way of knowing um, before you buy your hedgehog whether you're going to get one that's easy to bond with or not. Um, getting a hedgehog that was socialized as a baby is is a helpful starter there but um, things happen and sometimes even socialized babies have you know trouble bonding with um, their hog mom and hog dads. You really need the patience to continue to stick with them even when they're huffing, even when they're popping in your hands and sometimes hurting you, um, even when they don't seem to enjoy being out with you at all, you really have to push through it. For those of you who know my story with Blaze, you'll know it took me about a year to get him used to me enough to handle him regularly, um, regularly as in like me picking him up the way I pick up Draco. Um, I had to do a lot of hands-off bonding because the more I touched him, the more stressed out he got, the more clenched in a ball he got, that sort of thing. Um, but it took me a whole year before it finally seemed to have clicked in his head like, oh, this is who feeds me, this is who takes care of me, okay, I'm all right, I don't have to stress out. Um, so you really have to be persistent, don't give up on them. They are prey animals, they have a very strong prey drive. You're just one really big, scary human to some hedgehogs. So. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Sorry you couldn't see Draco a whole lot. The table is really low in this room. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any tips that I didn't mention that maybe worked for you, go ahead and leave them down below so other people can check them out and maybe learn a thing or two from you guys too. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!